Hello, everyone. It's Menchi again. Menchi. Hello, everyone. Welcome on in to all my cool cats and kittens. Hello, Simply. Hope all is well. Thank you, Laura. Menchi gang member. It's a double Menchi. Did we see the double Menchi? Double rainbow. Double Menchi. <laughs> She's sleeping. She just went to sleepy sleep. Thank you, Michael. So happy your poop came in. I'm so happy for you, Michael. That's amazing. <laughs> now I own everything from Hollow Taco, including accessories and collection boxes. God damn, you must be Hollow royalty. You must have gotten a survey earlier this morning as well. I'm sure you filled it out, of course, as all the other Hollow Taco royalty members did. I see you guys filling out your surveys in waves, commenting on the survey, being very excited. Um, yeah, that's been really great. Well received. I'm so excited to do more surveys, more data. Give me all your data. I am hungry for your data. Angel Simmer, <laughs> Silly Munchkins, <laughs> Peach, thank you. <laughs> no, I am the diva. You are incorrect. Blue is not the right answer. Let me... <clears throat> Let me just explain in case maybe we're like, what? So this morning, Holo Taco issued its first ever self-report survey for Holo Taco royalty members. So that's those who are in the top tier of our loyalty program that was launched uh, just, was it a month ago or two months ago now? So our new loyalty program, <laughs> and this is our first survey. It's kind of like a get to know the Holo royalty members survey. A bit of demographics. A bit of like what kind of colors you like a little bit of fun questions stuff like that but yeah it was just sent out to that tier as a bit of a thank you and a little bit more of a we wanted to get to know those members specifically and their needs their desires their wants in terms of you know all the hollow things so I designed that survey and put my statistics and survey design skills to you so I know my boss somewhere is out there proud of me <laughs> She does not watch the stream. She does not. She doesn't know this. She doesn't know what's going on here. But um, if you remember the boss I made a video with on like statistics, the one who I painted a bar chart or like a graph or something, a line graph on her nail. Yeah, that boss would be really proud of me right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You saw the snap? Yes, I posted on my snap and Instagram stories. I'll show you just in case you missed. This is what the email looked like for those who received it. Hello, royalty members. I am hungry for your data. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Dear statistics boss, you will be happy to know that I'm putting my survey design and data analytics skill set to good use. Don't worry, boss. <laughs> don't worry, boss. And then I don't know what the fuck this was. This is just me like explaining all the things that I think about. Oops. When doing good survey design, you know, you want to answer the key research questions. You want to make sure your respondent base is well defined. The scope is appropriately narrow. We can't have too many questions. I see so many recommendations for like, you should have asked this, this, this. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know. But like, you have to stop somewhere. You can't take up too much respondents time. You want different write-in options, but also not too many write-in options or else data is messy. If you're in data, you know write-in options are like the worst. It's your worst nightmare. So the more quantitative, the better, but we need to allow for some qualitative context. So that was included. Data collection methods will allow for response uh, results in multiple different presentation ways. So stay tuned. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. Also because our survey sample size was is thick. <laughs> <laughs> Public opinion pollsters are so jelly right now because our response rate is great and our N equals number is crazy. The response rate, well, I don't want to say it quite yet. I have early preliminary results, but it's also pending like who uh, accurately received the email, who opened the email, and then we'll calculate a response rate from then. But I can say right now, I'm already blown away by the raw number of respondents actually completing the survey in full. like which is really good. I'm so happy because it means that people are extremely eager to answer my survey. And also I do acknowledge that this survey was only ultimately sent out to a small proportion of Holo Taco customers because not everyone is in the Holo Taco royalty program. Now, 
on stream, we already did this poll, disproportionately more of you guys are in the Hollow Taco royalty category. So I know that, so that's cool. But yeah, overall, it's not the majority of our customers who would have gotten this survey. But yeah, I'm just really excited. You're excited for the results? Yeah, me too. Early results are very interesting, but I cannot speak too soon. <laughs> Because the data will be very messy if I start pulling results too soon because then I basically have to do all my analysis all over again So it's just not a good idea. Um, yeah, so here's here's me wanting to extract the data right now Give it to me. Give it to me Give me your data <laughs> I'm literally like ready to eat you <laughs> Also me reminding myself to not be messy with data exercise patience and extract only when the survey time frame is complete. So you only have to do data cleaning and processing once. Anyone in data science or data analytics is like, oh my God, the cleaning of the data, the worst thing ever. You don't want to do that more than once, everybody. <laughs> Take my data, oh, I will. Anyways, can you tell I'm excited? Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> Yo, I need help. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so my intention with these is that first of all, when uh, the survey response period is over, which isn't until the end of the weekend, like Sunday, and then I have to do data cleaning and processing and all that stuff, which is gonna take some time. After all that's done, I'm gonna make a, a preliminary results deck for myself and you know internal people to just look at the results and then we're gonna pull out the key findings and we'll probably make just like a very small kind of summary report and send it back to the hollow royalty members to be like here's our key findings you know the key metrics <laughs> okay maybe we won't use those words because people will be like just no speak nail polish to us not metrics no dashboard no analytics just speak nail polish but you know me <laughs> The statistics queen, yeah. <clears throat> so we'll we'll share some high level key results back with Hollow Taco royalty members, probably by email, because that's our best dissemination method for reaching those people. Um, but there's a possibility that after that group of people has received those results, because like they should have first dibs on seeing it, that maybe some of it I'll share on stream. I'm not really sure because I also acknowledge that those data are just specific to that group of people, so. It's not really talking about like the entire customer base or whatever, so it would just need to be understood in that context. So like I'll think about what I actually want to do beyond sharing it with the population it's about. I feel like that's a given. Oh my God, so many people have, okay, thank you. Sorry, I'm like talking too much. <laughs> Guys, I'm too excited by data. What's wrong with me? Thank you, Miss Pogets the Riot. Um, why isn't the formula of exi uh, existential crisis listed as a possible fit? Because it's like an unexplainable formula. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to pick like our standard formulas if you had to choose uh what is one existential crisis doesn't go into a category it has no category thank you michael i just filled out the survey i worked 12 hour days and just got home in time for the stream also i need a way to organize my collection boxes on a corner desk are you asking me for a solution you want me to build a hollow taco desk okay yeah okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna tell supply chain we want desks now <laughs> i'm just kidding I'm exercising patience because I got a delivery notification for my latest order. It's coming today. Use some of those loyalty points. Woo! Free hollow. Yes, patience is always required for the hollow. It's coming. It's coming. I will not lie. The last question took me like 15 minutes. Very important. No question alone should take respondents 15 minutes. You know, we do test for this in qualitative testing, not in this survey but in like actual survey development land you'll do qualitative testing to like make sure that respondents will be able to get through each question in a timely basis so that overall doesn't take too long and so if you have someone struggling with one question they're more likely to leave or quit the survey so that's what you don't want fun fact if you're like maybe half of a percent of you are interested in survey analytics or development <laughs> but yes I hear you that that was a struggle uh, Nutella Ball 2, hey, simply excited, sad for the possibly last stray stream. Also, did you notice an increase of orders in the past two weeks before the price increase? Uh, there was a little bit more orders as expected when we announced that prices would be increasing. Actually, that is today. As of today, our, some of our prices, not all, um, mostly like cremes, top and base coats have increased by a little bit. Just, just a little bit, just a little. Uh, that was effective today. 
And yeah, I think it makes sense that some people did choose to stock up a little bit, but also I don't think our some some price increases on some products was overwhelmingly barring for customers to make them feel like they couldn't wait until the next time they wanted to shop. So, you know, it is what it is, but I think overall people are people are cool and understanding, which I deeply deeply appreciate. Hello Taco Polish Organization Solution when were you and are you an a respondent of the survey? There might have been some insight in our questions. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, yes, the survey just went out to the Holo Taco royalty members, which is the top tier. More reason to buy because you love surveys. <laughs> That's like the weirdest incentive I've ever heard anyone say. I want to buy more of your products so I can answer surveys. Okay, you guys are nerds. <laughs> nerds, all of you, just like me, nerds. Thank you. Uh, speaking of data, I started a data science graduate certificate program next week. I'll be missing Wednesday streams, but I'll catch a buzz. You know what? It's worth it. It's worth it to go into data science. You know what's so weird? I keep getting these ads on Instagram from my school, the like the university I went to. <laughs> I already graduated from, but like I'm getting sponsored ads from them to sign up for a, a data science class. Like I guess it's a outside of the scope of regular credits, just like, you know, a random class you could sign up for. I'm like, that's such a great targeted ad because like I'm kind of interested. <laughs> and I looked at the curriculum, but it'd be six months and 20 hours a week or something. And I just don't have the time to commit to it. Otherwise I was, I was so interested. I'm like, yo, if this is like a once a weekend for like a month or something, I could do it. But no, it was too much of a time commitment. That made me sad anyways. Thank you, Michael. I will tweet pics of my nail art organization so far. Okay, do it. Also put it in Discord so other people can see. Carlton is like, give us money. Give us more money. Yeah, the, my scholarship wasn't enough. The least they could do is just give me like free classes. <laughs> no, just kidding. I don't think it was cost prohibitive. It was just like um, time prohibitive, really. What's on the other hand? The restock. This is the restock hand. You made a TikTok of your nail polish racks? I love seeing those pop up in my ticky talky. Um, if you did not receive the email, there's a few troubleshooting you can do. First is to go on holotago.com, sign into your account. You have to have already signed into your Holo Taco loyalty account and activated it for you to even be eligible to get the email in the first place. So like make sure you already have a working Holo Taco email account that recognizes that you're holo royalty and then if that is true then try signing up for the emails again because it's possible you may have unsubscribed also check your junk mail a lot of different email providers will screen out emails for marketing including this one i'm like it's more than marketing <laughs> but sometimes they will automatically put in your junk mail which sucks and once they do that it's hard to get it back you have to like manually find it in your promotions folder or your junk mail and then manually mark it as this is not junk mail. And if all those things are not true, you can reach out to Holo Taco customer service at support at holotaco.com. They are not in the chat. This is only my mods are in the chat, not Holo Taco. Um, but you can reach out to Holo Taco customer service independently or on socials and ask them manually to check uh, your email. Just finish your survey. Woo, Smurfy, thank you. Data point in check. Okay, can you stop saying hi like eight times? <laughs> like, where's my mods? <laughs> I'm putting you in a timeout. We don't say hi on this channel, we say hello. <laughs> no worries, guys. If you say hi, you're getting banned. You have to say hello. Yeah, I'm going into Ben's mode. I'm in Ben mode. I'm just gonna ban everyone who says hi. Yes, we're playing Stray. Apologies, I'm just overly excited. I meant she's sleeping though. Ban Katie? It was probably a Katie who said hi. <laughs> Step 
Chat, stop. <laughs> That's my favorite emote. <laughs> oh, Melon says I ban warn. I send I send warnings before timing out. I send no warnings. <laughs> I just timed out. You say hi eight times, you're done. <laughs> Simply, where is Ben? He's downstairs. Data analysis next week. You think my turnaround time's that quick? I don't think so, Morwin. <laughs> I work for the government. <laughs> Okay, shade, not really intended, but also just coincidental. Um, but it's also true. The survey doesn't end until Sunday. I'm gonna need like at least a week of processing. Then we're gonna need to do verification, validation. Then we're gonna have to do results. And uh, you know, then selection of key messages. Then we're gonna have to put it through to the Holo Taco Royalty members. And then after that, maybe I'll derive a presentation for this stream in a short form. So you know, all that takes time. Let me just turn on my stray chat bot. Yes, we are playing stray today. The last episode, potentially. I think it's the last episode. That's why I said last time. But like, you <laughs> we did not finish. Thank you, Laura. I had a bad week from watching old, old Simply Vids to cheer me up. Thanks for your streams. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here. And happy to cheer you up. It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. There is a very good chance you finish today. Um, and if not, you'll have the tiniest amount left. Okay, so this may not be the last stream, Giovanni. <laughs> Okay, why don't we just get started then? All right, let me pull up. Pull up the stream. I mean, pull up the game, not the stream. The stream is pulled up, that's where we are. Are we streaming right now? What's going on? <laughs> All right, hold up. Thank you. How am I liking Stray? I'm loving it. It's so good. Hold up. Oh, where's my Menchie? Okay, we can put her there. All right, let's see, let's see. I gotta remind myself. Let's see where we're at. So I don't, I don't even remember. Hmm. So, if I, yeah, this is Clementine's house, and we'd found... Fuck, does anyone remember? It's been like an entire week. We found a note from her last week that said, okay, something. But now I don't remember what it says, but like, we, we finished the task of finding the note from her, and I guess we're still back there. But now I'm trying to remember what the next step was. Does anyone remember? You went to Clementine's home, and they were not there. You had to look for clues based on the note you found. Thank you, Giovanni. So, what were, I can't remember what were the clues. <laughs> Yo, I'm the best mystery solver. I know we came up here and I was like surprised there was nothing additional. Find clues in, in her house. Look at the note and find the items. She's, she's in the bar. Okay, well, no spoilers, but <laughs> try, time to get recapped by B12. Okay, let's see if our robot will tell us anything. Oh, the batteries. What if I show them this? We finally found the atomic battery. It looks really powerful, doesn't it? Okay, I guess so. We have a lot of memories. It looks like there's one more square to get where we are. What? Look at the. Why is this smoking? 
What is this? Are these cat, cat drugs? I don't remember it smoking. What is it? <laughs> is that just the candle? What? No, it's not. It's like behind the candle. Or is that incense? So weird. Okay. You need the note again? Oh, I haven't picked up the note. Okay. Uh, maybe I did last time and it just didn't save it. Because I swear I thought I remembered reading a note. I'm trying to remember where it is, everybody. I think it was in her office. There's a clue board. Clem? Okay, yeah, here we go. Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looked like some kind of coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look. For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. Okay, here's the note. I guess it didn't save this last time. But we have the note again. Alright, so did I miss anything? Let's see inspect the computer you found something hmm I don't see anything are you sure that means do something do something <laughs> nope that's just regular furniture okay so b12 doesn't realize that that's a computer come on man you're a computer and you don't realize that's a computer There's gotta be more in here. Click on all of the things. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Whoa, why is my backpack pink? What? Did I just not notice that before? Like my backpack turns pink? So because this is our second time around the house, maybe there's something else that I did not see before. It's been doing that the whole time? Oh. <laughs> it's been doing that the whole time, everybody. <laughs> okay, well we could just take a nap and call it a day. <laughs> the graphics are gorgeous in this game, I know. It's so pretty. They really suit my stream too. Like all the neonness of it all. Melon nail art is in love. Cause she made my neon stuff. Oh look, look! That's new. Inspect the crystals. This gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Uh oh, it's got RGB lighting. <laughs> Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo. There is a message. It says... Blazer. Blazer? Blazer. Like a... Like a suit blazer? Like a jacket blazer? Like a smoking blazer? Like a... The name blazer? Like a robot name blazer? Oh, whoa. whoa. Did that just light up? <gasps> it did! My sensors can only detect harmless chemi chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. They can't smell, so, um, I don't know, because it's comforting? There's also a message hidden under the container. It says, I'm with... Okay, I mean, can I do something else? All right, so it looks like I'm just gonna get a bunch of clues with nothing, with a bunch of blanks. Whee! So 
So maybe there's obviously more clues in Clementine's house. Oh, yeah. Okay. We just basically got to check all of this. You found something? Hmm. I don't see anything. Are you sure? I mean, like, that's what the button is for. Nope, that's just regular furniture. I mean, have we just not figured it out yet? Or is the game just giving me dead ends just to fuck with me? You trying to fuck with me? So the note was here, guys. Um, but now it's not showing anymore. Because <clears throat> we already read it. But I could show it to B12. For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. Clementine. And then there's weird symbols. <laughs> Look at my shit! <laughs> <laughs> this coded message was left to us by Clementine. Alright. Right, so Clementine says, just keep looking at my shit. I love playing games. That's just regular furniture. Okay, so it does look like there's a lot of items we can explore, but that come back negative for anything of significance. Just like statistical tests, you know? Makes sense. You're gonna run a lot of tests. And you're gonna find a lot that aren't significant. And then sometimes some will come back. I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Interesting data trends. Dot dot dot. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice this message here. It reads nightclub. Guys, we're going out tonight. We're going out tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, inspect the water. You found something? Are you sure? Yes. Oh. Okay, fine. Okay. So, we have some hints. Blazer, nightclub. Back to the bathroom? What did I miss? Do I gotta go pee? Can I go pee? <laughs> if you inspect again, does it change? No. There's nowhere to there's nowhere else to like go, you know? The only thing I can do is hop up here, but there's I can't like hop on the bath or there. There's no hopping up. So I don't know what else is in the bathroom. What other item in the bathroom? What are you talking about? The statue? That's what I am looking at. It's not doing anything. Oh, it is. Oh, the Did you see how it was like not showing? What? <laughs> huh? What an odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left there. It says, come to. Come to nightclub? I'm with Blazer, come to nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find her. We don't have much time. Okay, we did it. Yeah, the camera angle is pretty wonky. So sometimes, I find that when I'm like pressing A to jump too. Like you see the A and then you're like, oh, it's not there anymore. Uh, how the fuck do I get out of here? Oh yeah, here. Okay, we gotta go to the nightclub and see Blazer. <gasps> no! I just remembered the fucking Sentinels! <laughs> No, I'm so sad. I was so calm and happy and safe in the house. 
And now I have to, to go with the sentinels! No, Benji! No, I'm not ready! Do I enjoy playing Stray? Up till now! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sad. You have to sneaky sneak? Yeah, but they're like right fucking there. Like, what the fuck? I'm scared. Oh, fuck me. Where's the fucking boxes? No! There's no boxes right here. There's no boxes? That's not a box! Fuck, I'm just gonna have to run? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna get caught. This is just unfair. Why isn't that one moving? Go away! It's never gonna move? That's not fair! Can I go up here? Anywhere to go down? No? How am I gonna evade them? I'm, I have no choice but to cross through. Fuck! Yo, I'm too anxious for this shit. <laughs> Wait, what if I... Go like this. Can I get down from here? <laughs> That's just gonna take me up. I gotta find a way down. Fuck, there's no way down, bitches. I think I gotta go on the other side. But I don't wanna talk to them. There's no way down, help me! Oh wait, can I go down here? <gasps> no, that's gonna take me up, not down. Fuck, sorry guys. I know you're like, Christine, just do something. But I'm scared. Did I make it? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, where am I supposed to go? The bar? Fuck, where's the bar? <laughs> I don't remember where the bar is. That's closed. Oops. Okay, I think we can do things now, right? We're not in immediate danger. I hate this club. Same. Danger. Groove levels at 2%. Please find a dancing spot immediately. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> what? I don't think the bouncer is going to let us in. Why? Because we're a cat? Hey guys, I think we're going to have to climb at the back again. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Not for you. Go away. What if I show him this fucking battery? I don't take bribes. <laughs> I don't know what it is. 
recover memories. Hmm. What do you mean recover memories? Like this? recover them like show them for what purpose oh just to like look is there anything that i need Bora bar barber shop interesting the sentinels Yeah, it's the bar, not the night... Oh, no, wait. Our memory says the nightclub. But then everyone in chat was like, go to the bar. But this is the nightclub. So I have to figure out how to get in. Let me in! <laughs> Window at the back? Okay, I'm going. I don't care if it's cheating. <laughs> hmm. I am a cat. And I am smart and I am stealthy cute and I am orange and I will get into the bar look at this guy <laughs> what are you doing buddy oh there there there's someone up there okay we gotta get up there Talk to this guy. Hey, can you give me a lift? I work hard to clean the streets, only for others to mess it up. Anyways, that's how the world works. <laughs> Yo, I love that honesty. <laughs> Announcement, if you're looking for some company to talk about poetry, I live behind the elevator. That's Bonabot. Okay, but we gotta go to the window that's open somehow. <clears throat> how do we get? Up there. I gotta get up. I must climb. I must use my kitty senses and climb. There we go. Let's go. Hmm. I need to go higher. Can't get up there. How do we get up? the yellow sign. <clears throat> the yellow sign, like that one? Oh, wait, how can I meet this guy? Let's talk to him. Maybe he'll give me a hand. Howdy, partner. Why don't you come over here so I can get a good look at you? Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> oh, there's... Maybe I can climb this side. Yeah, maybe let's do that. There's so many people here now. I've never been so social. Jameson, you have no business here, unless you want your legs replaced by something more fancy, which you don't, so get lost. Is that a threat? Did he just threaten to replace my cute little cat legs with metal software? Why is there nothing to jump on? This is like, I am truly turning into a cat. I'm like getting mad that there's nothing to jump on. Give me something to jump on! <laughs> what the fuck? There's something to jump on. There we go. Okay, so there's a few yellow light situations. There was this, which I don't think we can get in. Yeah, that does nothing. But then, can we go that way? Okay, we'll go back this way. Wait, should I talk to this guy? Sure, why not? Hi, be my friend. No? 
Wonderful, look at this little cutie. <laughs> That's it? Yo, he is so cool. Look at that fit. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> you have so much style. La tequila. Amazing. Okay, what are we doing? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Let me in the bar. Hey, how'd you get up here? Don't ask questions. What are you, a cop or are you writing a book? You want to party with us? Yes. Here, jump in and go get a drink. <laughs> Yay! We're in, we're in, we're in! Are there fucking sentinels? Oh no. Oh my god, I just had trauma. I thought they were sentinels, but they were actually just dancing lasers. Alright, where's the bar? Who wants to do some shots? Yeah, that was a hundred dollar tequila. Oops. Can robots get drunk? I always wondered that when I watch, you know, like real life movies or TV shows like Westworld and they they have drinks, they drink wine. I'm like, are they getting intoxicated? Like, I don't really understand. Frip, this club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Can you believe it? Do they know who I am? <laughs> so I stole this lever just for kicks. Wow, you are so cool, Fripp. If you get me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it, and I don't want to be caught with it. So I want to be caught with it? Hmm, it makes sense. I mean, I suppose we want the lever, but I, I don't want to be caught with the lever. Yo, look at his hollow vest! The, look at that hollow drip! Oh my god, you're so cool. I want to live here. <laughs> look how nice this is. Guys, I want to live here and be in a constant state of over-simulation. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Hey, customer. The, he called me customer. The access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. It has been reserved by some blazer guy. Okay. Um, I hear you, but I'm not listening. It's exactly what a cat does. They're like, I hear you, but I am not listening. What the fuck is this? This is not hygienic. What the fuck am I? What? What just happened? <coughs> Help me! <laughs> Help me! I just went in a trap door! Help me! I don't know! <laughs> oh my god, a memory! When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning, known as a hangover. We suffered every time we had midterms, but we did it every time, regardless. It took us four years to learn our lesson. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. <laughs> and the underground living conditions becoming more and more squalid and the capitalistic greed of companies like Nico Corp and the police state created by the Sentinels. This has so much in common with Detroit Become Human in terms of like the narrative underlying storytelling. Now I remember why we were doing that. Memory, guys! 92% of memories recovered! We're gonna remember everything about our existence by the end of this game. I'm so excited to learn. Okay, Xyler, let's go. Anything else to do in here? Anything else? I just like explored this secret dorm. Anything else, anything else? Give me something else, come on. Gotta have some treats or some snacks or something. <laughs> Give me some treats. There's nothing to jump on. Oh my God, imagine there were Zerks behind this door. I would quit. <laughs> I'm quitting if there's more exerts. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going upstairs. Whee! Hello? 
Let me in. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, we're not allowed to use a door. We're a cat. Are there temptation treats in the cabinet? Who said that? Are you joking? I don't see any temptation treats. Savory salmon dinners. Okay, let's go back this way. As someone who does a lot of video editing, oh, take strange drink should is something you should never do. You should never take a strange drink. As someone who does a lot of video editing, this chapter just looks like a million light leaks layered over and over, and I love it. Mmm, <laughs> give me all the light leaks. Put all seven layers on top of each other. Composition level, add. You like my mask? I made it myself for COVID. Yes, yeah, so stylish. <laughs> it jams the Sentinel scans, and it looks cool. Okay, can I steal it? Get down. That robot knows how to get down. Oh! <laughs> I like Viv. Okay, cool. Anna, I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. Oh, you download the dance moves? He's one, he's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Where do I find him? How do I hire him? How do I get exclusivity? Pay attention to me or I will knock over your champagne. Oh, is that like a hollow, it's like gold hollow kind of? Wow. This is the most overstimulating level. Wait, can I go behind the, this like grass wall? No, that was just a glitch. Guys, there's too much to look at. I'm like overwhelmed. Help me. Okay, we already talked to you. We already talked to you. We talked to you. Kula, give it to the left, give it to the right. Beep boop, sweep swoop, it's called the Zegama dance. Okay, I see it. That's pretty good. This club sucks. They kicked me out, can you believe it? So I stole this lever. If you get me a drink, I'll give you this lever. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. Here you go, as promised. We gained a lever handle in exchange for a strange drink. Um, should we watch him drink it? What's gonna happen to him? Okay, it just looks like a pineapple martini. Hope you enjoy. Oh, this guy's passed out. <laughs> so we're gonna walk on his back. Me, anytime I sleep, my cat step on my back. Okay, let's talk to you, Alex. Did you just give me a thumbs up? That's a strange behavior. I'm gonna do that the next time my cat goes like this. Good stuff. Good stuff, Zyler. Good stuff, Menchie. Let's go. Enjoying yourself, little one? Yes, that's all? That's all you gotta say? No, it's not a game console, it's a battery. Okay. Um, hmm, let's keep exploring, see if there's like some secret things to do. Meowing at all the televisions. Do these doors do anything? Hmm. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. If you're here live, let's see that number go. <laughs> and if you're here on VOD, 
you can increase the likes in the future. Isn't that crazy? You can affect the future. Okay, let's go upstairs. Come on upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey DJ, play my song. DJ Matsy, hey everybody. I mean, hello everybody. DJ Matsy here, let's get the party started. The first song has been requested by our very questionable friend, Blazer. Can I just walk on your table? So that it looks like there's a Y, but I'm not allowed to press it yet, probably because I have to do something else. Best level. I'm just gonna stay here. Use lever. Oh, use the lever. Uh oh, does this unlock something bad? Let's find out. What just happened? Oh wait. Was I supposed to do that again? And then I gotta go on top. Okay, okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> And then I'm gonna reach some secure access point, right? Yeah. Ooh, secret. Secrets of the club. They have this in every club. No, they don't. I don't know. I don't go to clubs. Guys, you think I know what I'm doing? <laughs> oh, we can press buttons. Oh, we can press so many buttons. Oh, I'm gonna press all the buttons. Fuck it up. Look at the cats in the club. Oh. Wait, what if I press them all? Oh, it's a puzzle. That one looks like it needs to stay there. That looks like I could crawl. Did I miss something? Fuck. Okay, I want to go back if I miss something. I missed a secret with the DJ? How do I get him? I can go back. How do I get the secret? Oh, this lever. But then I'm just going up to the same spot, no? Record at the grass bit? The grass bit. A grass bit. What say you, grass bit? The grass? Where's the grass? Cause yeah, there's a Y that doesn't work here. You're right. So I am missing something. Near the bar? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So smoky in here. A grassy bit? Oh, well that's grass. Where's the secret chatters? That's it. 
we like unlock something? No? Let's go! <laughs> That's so painful! <laughs> Yeah, I should never be a DJ. Alright, where are we going? That was good. Going to the puzzle. So I've already pressed all these buttons. So let's just see what happens. Whoa! 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 This is so fun. <gasps> what just happened? They're just showing me that there's people over there. I'm here, I'm here! Hi! Here. Raph, I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. He already has access to everything. This is obviously an allegory for a rich person. But he is he a bartender? Or no? He's just he like he's a guest, right? Raph? I don't know. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay. We're looking for Blazer. Are these, like, supposed to be Louis Vuitton furnitures? <laughs> it's Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Louis Vuitton Christian Louboutins. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna fuck over your $1,200 table service. Okay, sorry. We're getting distracted. <gasps> there he is. Oh my god, he's tied up! Oh no, it's Clementine! <gasps> no, they tied up Clemmy! Mm. Blazer, two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyways, nothing personal. Business in, is business. What do you want with Clementine? Because I will scratch your fucking robot skin off. Blazer, business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. Said like no one I know in my personal life. But many people I know I'm from the internet. <laughs> Blazer, they are all yours. Wait, are you talking to me? Like the cat? Achievement unlocked. Alcat Alcat Raz. Oh my god, am I going to jail? Oh my god, I'm in jail. Oh, Xyler's in jail! No! Xyler! No! Xyler, we're going to the vet. This is what happens when I take Xyler to the vet. This is what he imagines. The fuck was that? I don't know, man. No! Okay, we're, we're gonna have to swing to get out. I'm assuming. Yeah. Fucking swing. It seems those are the only controls I have anyways. Yeah. Yeah! That was too easy. You dumb fuck. <laughs> okay, wait. I don't want to miss anything. Let me explore before we leave this space. So that looks like toxic waste. All right, okay, nowhere to really go. Can I do something here? No. Guys, we lost our vest. We lost B12. We look naked. Oh, no, we're naked. We have no collar. We're naked. Guys, don't look. Benji, don't look. Xyler's naked. <laughs> what is going on? 
this fucking spooky. Spook magook. Okay, there's no obvious way out. Hmm. It's gotta be a trick. Alright, oh yeah, okay. Can I reach? Let me reach! No. Let's do that again. There's like a barrier. Oh, there we go. <gasps> no! I swear to fucking god, game developers, if you let Xyler die and fall one more time. <laughs> I mean, not die, but fall. <laughs> I will fucking sue you. I will sue you. I'm calling my lawyer. Your honor. This game has caused me emotional undue distress in the form of a cat being hurt. Jail. <laughs> We're going to jail. <laughs> You're going to jail. This is a message for the game developers. <laughs> okay, what do I do? I don't know. I have undue emotional distress, emotional damage. And uh, my damages are in excess of 40 million for sure. <laughs> I'll be filing my motion next week. You can expect to hear from my lawyers. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Good lord. I'll be hiring Emily D. Baker as my lawyer. <laughs> Okay, now we go on top of the jail. That makes sense. Let's look around. Hmm. Everything is so mossy. I'm scared. I feel like every turn I'm gonna... What the fuck is that? Oh no, they're electrocuting the robot. That's not good. The fucking sentinels. No! This is like that scene in Detroit Become Human where all the robots are in like a trash yard. Kind of. I know there's only one here, but it kind of reminds me of that. Okay, clearly we have to do something to unlock a door. smoking <laughs> thanks yes <laughs> we gotta listen to the rules when we're behind bars how do we even get access <laughs> what nope okay I just I don't really know what my purpose is what is my purpose oh screen what the fuck yo I went in the did I go in the toilet <laughs> the game I thought it was like a cool cut screen but like nope the game's just like you're in the toilet wait what was that it's like a little picture oh let me see it let me see the picture oh what the fuck is this oh <gasps> oh my god I'm in the fucking vent Oh my god. Oh! Okay, so I guess these were all robot prisoners from the past.
Don't look in my room. But is there anything to like get from these rooms? I kind of feel like I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> Guys, the camera angles are weird. I'm not trying to do that on purpose. It's just like, I guess the room is so small that it keeps doing that. So the secret vent, yeah, but all it did was bring me to the room right beside it. That's really it. Nothing really that secret about it. But I suppose if I wanted to go further, maybe I will use this to my advantage. If it is in fact an advantage, we will find out. But soon I have to... Run, 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 run. Fuck! to go but I look so cute <laughs> Tyler fucking cutie okay can I hmm that looks blocked off because it looks like I might want to run that way but how do I get up there maybe let's Try something else. Oh. Oh. This looks like something. Could be good news. Keys. Get me the keys. I can do that. I'm a cat. No sentinels here? Damn. Okay. Hold on. I'm just gonna pause it so I can pee out the tea. Be right back. Came with me to go pee. <laughs> oh, she just wants attention. Okay, you want to sit on my shoulder? Okay. Did we forget to run an ad, Minchie? Minchie, why didn't you run an ad? Okay, now she's like <laughs> on my shoulder. Look, we're sitting down. Okay. All right, Menchi, help me find the key. Here, do you want to purr for the chat? There's a way to go outside. I don't know if I should do that yet. There's a way to go outside over there, but hold on. Let me figure out if that makes sense. Because the key is... Oh, we could go outside because it's on that side. Because is there a window in there? Yes, there is. So maybe... We go outside, then we come back. Let's just see what's that. What's that? Hmm, okay. It looks like those are our only options.
Give me the key. Got him. Yes, Minchi. Minchi. She's butting my shoulder. Minchi, look, we're gonna give him the key. See, we gave him the key, Minchi. Minchi, look! I don't know why we did that, but we let him free! Did he's not gonna give us anything? What about, like, information? Can I get in here? No. You wanna tell me some- something? Give me something? Oh, you can open that door. Oh! Yeah, how do I get B12 back? Because I can't see my memories. But, like, I went to jail, so they took B12. They took my robot. What, Minchi? <laughs> she keeps, like, moving my mic. Okay, I think he's trying to help me. Am I to follow him? Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. I mean, she. It's Clementine, right? Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, it's Clementine. You'll get B12. I'll get B12 back. Okay. <gasps> Is that B12? Minchi, they're formatting B12. Come here, little baby. Come here, you want cuddles. Look, it's Siler. It's your brother. Minchi, it's your brother. Look, your brother. Are they cloning B12's memories or like extracting? We must save B12. Do we follow Clem? This is the kind of music they play in jail, for sure. <laughs> it's time to save our bestie. She, Clementine's saying, go. Is that what she's saying? Okay. We have to trust. But we must trust. We can do this together with our bestie, Clemmy. Ew, spiders. Eh, Clementine, there's spiders. <laughs> oh, no. But cats love lasers. Okay, so... Oh. oh, we can go really high because we're a cat. But I have to find a way to jump over all of them. Of course Clementine just lets me go and figure it out myself. Does not help me. Thanks, Clem. Can I jump on that thing? Come on, come on. There's nowhere to jump down, so what's the point of these? Can I jump on that? Oh yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, we did it. We did it. And she, I can like hear you like, licking your face. Clem's out there. But like, I wonder, am I missing anything in here? Are these like notes or something? Oh, I guess we gotta keep going. Oh, it's moving! It's a moving laser! Holy fucking shit. Okay, let's watch it. Is there a barrel? I didn't see any, but that would, that would be a great news if there was a barrel. No, there's no barrels, just chairs. 
So see its pattern on the side. Okay, hold on. I need to put this child in her bed. Come here, child. Wait, how do I get over it? Can I just... Oh, there. Duh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta watch. So when they go away, then I can go left. She's so needy right now. You like sitting here. You like your bed. You like your bed. <laughs> you go. There you go, Munchkin. Oh no. She doesn't want to settle down. Okay, there she goes. See, that's it. Remember the comfort of your bed and your life. She she just wants to help me. It will be the only time you die? I fucking hope so. little corner then because I don't want to get caught at all but like that was so quick you know fuck it already caught me how do I evade it where do I even go oh no there's a box <laughs> no no there was a box Thanks, Clementine, for all your help. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Good lord. All right, Zyler. Let's go. Come on, Zyler. You got this, little buddy. Little buddy, let's go. from that way. I guess we go that way. That'd be the the right the right way. I need a minute. <laughs> I don't like this dress. This honestly the worst part for me is like not a very experienced gamer is the anxiety over if I die it means I ha I have to redo all of it again and I don't know if I'm going to do as good. That's my problem. <laughs> through that oh what hey after I'm dead I can kind of like look around I just realized that like there's no box right there what how do you get through that okay there's like a little air conditioner to jump on so I could jump up there but the sentinels see you for sure
shoot, didn't see that coming. <laughs> Shut up, chat. <laughs> Which chatter told me that would be the, the... I would only die once. You lied to me. Do not lie to me. I will die many times. You are wrong. There's no box right there, so I basically have no choice but to fucking dash and then run, maybe? Now what? Is it that room with the lever? I think it's that- it's like that tower room with the lever, right? I'm gonna guess that. Rather than that way. It's probably tower room with the lever. Control room? Hmm. Now what? Oh, they dropped my buddy! But now they're all staring at him? Thank you, Jessica. Simply, I played the game slower than you. Actually, slow? How, how do I play it slower? <laughs> you can actually sneak past the Zerks if you wait long enough? What? You mean I didn't have to get murdered 18 times? I didn't have to experience such emotional trauma? Jessica, why didn't you tell me earlier? <laughs> okay, now do I have to go back? Oh no, not this again, where I have to go back and di not die. Is this a shortcut if I go the other way? see a way to get back this way though how do I go back to b12 without dying <laughs> so do I just go back the way I came from or was there a shortcut like this way because where is b12 right like is he in there he's in there he's in there but I'm gonna die on my way there I have to sneak carefully okay I must sneak, sneak my geek. Sneak my geek. Okay, there's a box there. We could go to this corner. We go. Oh. Lol, JK. Okay, we're going back that way. We'll do nothing. Let's see how close this gets. Well, maybe it's like looking through here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see B12. But how do we get there? It doesn't look like anyone's on this windowsill. But it's hard to kind of see where the patterns are. Like maybe if I jump on the table. Now what? <laughs> I paused the game. Pause the game, pause the game, pause the game. <laughs> I'm ready to run. Pro gamer, pause the game. 
stop moving when they spot you. No, then they kill you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you not been here? <clears throat> Where am I supposed to go? This is pro gamer mode. Pause so you can cheat. Because I do not need the extra stress. <laughs> Under the platform you're on, says some chatters. Hmm. Under the platform. There's a window directly where I'm looking at. Yeah, but like, I'm so scared now I'm going to get zapped. But maybe if I go under, I can temporarily divert their attention. Oh my god, I'm scared. Am I under? Where the fuck am I? Oh, where am I? Okay, I'm under. I'm under. I'm under. So now we can think. We can think. Phew! Good lord. The open window. Yeah, like r r right here, right? Right behind that guy? Okay, but we gotta study their patterns, guys. We gotta look for the statistical trends because they are programmed like robots. We're gonna do predictive analytics and we're gonna figure out their next move. <laughs> That's how you beat the game. And reduce your anxiety. The other way? What do you mean the other way? Move? <laughs> Wait, how do I go back? Why is this, it's only giving me the under the view. Go up. Zoom out. Oh no, there's like a glitch. <laughs> let me, no, let me look back. Why am I stuck? Fuck, I don't want to move. I don't want to, no, I can't see. The game was tired of me. Let me out. The fuck? Okay, hold on a second. What, did I fuck up? I did it for too long and now it like thinks I can only see here. Come on, man. That's not fair. Do I have to, am I being forced to drop him? I think I'm in, am I in a glitch? It like won't let me out of this view. And also I don't know, did I drop B12? Fuck, I think I'm fucked. I think I dropped him because I thought it would get me out of the glitch, but now I, he's not actually there to pick him up, you know? See, it says why only in some places. Fuck. No, Ben, I, you're wrong. It, it used to show me above the land and I'm trying to get Y back, but it's really hard in this level, in this um, mode. Right? See, now it thinks I have B12 again. But the... It won't let me see above the table. Now I don't know which way to go. That way? Fuck, fuck, fuck. No! <laughs> I don't want to retry. That's terrible. No! <laughs> Menji, no! We were so close. Now I have to go through the trauma all over again. Uh, oh, fuck. I'm not finishing this game tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is so hard.
fuck, fuck. Oh, I fucked that one up. How did I fuck that up so bad? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> now my confidence is shot, guys. No! <laughs> oh. You've never seen this happen before? Is that like a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> I'm gonna cry! I'm gonna cry! If I can't get Xyler through this. Xyler! Kind of tricky. Cause last time, I guess I just did this really quickly and I didn't really think, but it just happened that it turned out fine. Fuck. It got me. Just my butt, just a little. I have to go over there. But this guy's still on me. I guess he was just alerted from that. So there. Mm. Okay, let's wait for one more rotation. time I just did this I just went over here you can stand in this window and you can jump on the table and not get eaten or not eaten zapped let me just wait for that guy I gotta watch how they do it again that way I go straight right or is it to that window sorry I'm gonna stay where I am I'm not gonna move or else it's gonna glitch again and I won't be able to see but am I going in the left window that has like open or am I going to the right which is like straight through the left one requires me to jump and the right one I can just do straight through Okay, so Chad is saying the left one, the open window, the window, not the door. Okay, the left. So, so many of you are saying that one. So let's, let's try that. I need a drink. <laughs> Can robots have alcohol? made me do this alone.
B12, I felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again, all alone. But you came back for me. I can't believe it. Can't believe it's not butter. You're a good friend. Clementine, I'm so glad that we are all together again, but we're not yet safe. Well, fuck. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? Can you just... Can you just climb to the top of a mountain for me? Can you just jump out of a fucking helicopter and evade 87 sentinels for me? Can you just like gather all my possessions and ship them to me across the country? Just like do this one little favor for me? Good lord. <laughs> What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen when I open this door, Clementine? Tell me, what's gonna happen? <laughs> These robots do nothing. Robots are supposed to be the future. They're supposed to automate and do everything for you. Yeah, well, these robots do fuck all. I'm disappointed in the future. <laughs> now what? Am I entering to my death? Probably. You, oh, you. let me guess. You want me to go first? You want me to go first? Fuck. <laughs> Yo, I'm mad. I am mad. I am mad. Fuck those boxes. Fuck your boxes. Okay, am I supposed to do anything here? Why are you waiting there? You just wanna see what happens to me? Is that right, Clemmy? Sure it is. Whose laundry is this? This looks like camp laundry. lights over here, which usually means there's a hint. The game broke? What do you mean the game broke? Clementine was supposed to go through the door? She was? What? Clementine, what the fuck are you doing? Be useful! <laughs> Wait, do I have to go up here maybe? What's this? something <laughs> be useful girl <laughs> do I use the door again I closed it okay now if I open it again will she follow me follow me follow me dummy what <laughs> Clementine What's the po she's supposed to follow me, but she didn't follow me. Push the robot? Do I have to push her? You have to reset the checkpoint? No! I'm not resetting anything. Move! Do something! Come on, girl, let's go. Do I need to talk to her? Hmm, let's see. No, there's no actions to talk to her. What? Your first serious glitch? You have to tell her you're sorry? I'm not sorry. <laughs> it's been three minutes since the last checkpoint, which probably includes um, where I beat that. And I don't want to have to beat it again because I will die. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, maybe, hold on. Let me just do this again. What if I talk to her first? Will she do something? Do something. It's 
saved after you beat? Are you sure? I swear to God, chatters. I swear to God. Okay, but wait, how do we know that there isn't something wrong with this level? You think that's supposed to be open and it's just not? Is it because I'm supposed to like do something here though? That I just haven't figured out? I know a lot of you have already played this game, so you kind of know, so that's why I'm somewhat inclined to believe some of the chatters. But maybe we're just missing something. You know, like maybe there's like an activation something that I'm supposed to do. Do something. I'm supposed to do something. Yeah, you won't have to beat it again. If you reload, it should be all good. If not, I'm sorry. Giovanni! <laughs> I don't want... If you hug the child, none of this would happen. Fuck! <laughs> Wrong game, Applesauce! <laughs> oh no, I forgot to add the 2% emote. We have it in Discord, but not in uh, YouTube yet. YouTube only allows a limited number of emotes, unlike Discord. I mean, there is a limited number of emotes in Discord, but it's, it's way more than YouTube. Okay, I'm so mad. Do something, do something. Do I have to reload? I swear to God. Okay, I guess we're resetting the checkpoint. She did follow me. Oh my god, that was a huge glitch. Why did she not follow me? Wow, that's crazy. I feel kind of lucky. I, I, right? Like, is that, like, cool? That's kind of fun. That's, like, the occasional person who gets a misprinted Hollow Taco collection box where, like, the name of the collection or something was printed upside down. Like, it's a complete fluke. It happens very rarely, but, like, occasionally that happens. And then, you know, we'll obviously send them a new one. But the person... <laughs> who contacts customer service is often like this is really special because it's like one out of a kind i got the glitch <laughs> that's how i feel right now i got the glitch <laughs> okay what are we supposed to do see i can relate fuck these boxes but not the hollow taco collection boxes don't knock those on the ground there you go. Oh, they're bricks. Oh, they're bricks, not boxes. Oh, they're weapons. Oh shit, she's gonna throw it. Oh, okay. You got it, girl. Let's go. Wait, oh, am I supposed to go up there? Oh, let me jump on your head. Smart, smart. Why didn't we think of this before? <gasps> Glass. Okay, but I gotta let you in, right? Can I unlock it? We need to let Clementine back. Clemmy, Clemmy, let's go, we gotta let you in. Is that a sock on the wall? Pin the sock on the wall. It's me. Okay, obviously we pull this lever. There you go, Clemmy. Clementine, those sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them. Oh yes, just use me as bait. You know, don't mind if I die. <laughs> Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. Okay. Fuck. Fuck me. Bait them into which cells? Into this cell? Hmm. Does her sleeve say kiss me? Yes, it does. Kiss me. Kiss me. Okay, which cells though, Clemmy? Whoa, there's grass. Cells out in the courtyard? Okay. Alright, let's do some... Some Dora the Exploring. To 
just don't mind me. I'm just Dora. Oh, there's like robots in here. Do we have time to meet people? Alterisateur is French. It's a French robot. This recovery center has done me at the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I'm an exemplary citizen now. Yeah, you sure look like it. D'accord, on y va. Où sont les robots? Oh, those are the cells. Okay, that's a cell. Use the door. So what do we do? We run in and then run out, try not to die, and then lock them in here. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Okay, well, let's just say hi to this guy first before we die. Pablo, did you see the guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. Yeah, well. At least you're, you're just sitting here. You, you don't need to be scared. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So... Oh, can we use these? Oh, can I roll in the, these guys? Do they roll? No, you can't get in them? No. These are kind of pointless. Memory on the other side? Mm, yeah, so I gotta get through that gate. I see it. I can see it, it's on the other side of the fence, but I'm assuming we gotta do this open door shit to open that door. But like, I'm kind of confused if I have to bait him in here first or if I just do this and see what happens. Yeah, that just closes this. If I meow at them and then lock the door? But is he gonna like, go right in I'm meowing he doesn't hear me he doesn't hear me you dumb fuck <laughs> but like will he go all the way in you know what I mean How to get him in the door. You know? You have to go in so he follows you? Hmm. Okay. Come here, you fuck face. He doesn't fly all the way in. How come he didn't fly all the way? <laughs> come here, fucker. I said, come here, fucker. Oh. Oops. Why don't you come in? Oh, what? <laughs> Isn't he like following me? I'm right here. So stupid. Yes, now come in. <laughs> they kill you so quickly, like they don't give you time. I don't understand. Ben! <laughs> Come 
come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. He, did he just come out of the fucking door? Fuck off. That was so stupid. I got confused. I got confused. I got confused. Come in here. Did I do it? I think I did it. But now this is closed. Clementine. Help me figure it out. Thanks. Thank you. Finally. Finally, Clementine does something for us. <laughs> okay, there's a memory. There's a memory. Memory! Give me all memories! This is the last memory in the entire game of Stray. This poor fellow. You talking about me? It seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They have completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. <laughs> no! We got all the memories. Um, please, don't get caught. Okay, yeah, thanks for the tip. Thanks, tips. Can I jump there? Mm. Why won't it let me jump there? Okay, well, she opened the door, so. Thanks for guilting me, game. Don't get fucked. Okay, so there's a sentinel right there. And there. Let's talk to this guy. Capone. Hey, don't get me in trouble. I only have 758 years left. <laughs> and then I'm free again. Okay, that's like two robot life sentences. Uh, where can I bait them though? Oh yeah. So, I gotta bait them in this one. Oh, there's two doors. Hmm, okay, let's explore first. Just a little Dora, the Explorer. Let's see. This makes it harder, though. Because I gotta bait two of them into one door. Maybe I close this one. And bait them in this one. But I wanna I need both of them. Hi, both of you. Nope, nope, nope. I need both of you. Nope. Nope. No! It's too hard. <laughs> I really wish I didn't have to bait. I would much prefer to just sneak my geek, you know? Okay, I already got the memory though. Fuck. 
Are they both in there? Are they both in there by accident? No! Fuck. Only one of them is in there. I thought I just got lucky and like they were accidentally both in there. my life fucking risking my life no i can't see <laughs> manchi i'm sorry for screaming oh she's mad okay she gets upset when i'm upset it's okay monkey it's okay, Menchi. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. She's purring. Menchi, let them hear your purr. It's calming. Menchi, show them your purr. Purr for them, Menchi. Can you hear her? <laughs> she's so scared. She's so spooked and like, she's like sad. Cause when I express like discontent or upset, she gets spooked. And then she looks for comfort and she's all like sad and sweetie, you know? That we're playing as her brother. It's okay. It's okay, monkey. How am I supposed to use the controls when you're in my lap? Yeah, she just looks like a dark blob right now, but she's like cuddling. It's okay, sweetie. We need to take a little break. Just just look cute for the camera, okay? There you go. Just rub the microphone. That's good. The game is almost over. Yeah, not for me, Kayla. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this with a cat on my lap. Sweetie, you want to go sit? You want to sit down over in your bed? Yeah? You can hear her? Benji. <laughs> I want Christine to know she the she bet she beat the game without my help. Oh. Yeah. But if I can't do it, then I will cry. So do you want me to cry or do you want me to beat the game with your help? <laughs> you know what I mean? Emotional support, Menchi. Okay. It's harder to do this with a cat on my lap. It's not smart. So like, I want both of those guys to come over here and I'll leave that one closed maybe. No, like that's so fast. You see what I mean? Like it gives me no chance. That's what I don't understand. I, I had no chance to run around and press X to close the door. 
This part took you so many tries. Like, what's the trick? There's no sneaking. You can't sneak here. Come here, fox. Okay, let's, let's do some circles then. Wait, are they in? Fuck! That's so not fair, you fucks. And now I just locked myself in. <laughs> You gotta move. Oh fuck. She's like right in front of my face. That's not good. Menchi, get fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna lose because of Menji. Menji! Menji, I can't see! Menji! <laughs> oh no! This is far-fetched, but could the sentinels shoot each other? I wish. <laughs> Come on, guys. You don't get along, right? So, like, look. I lure them both this way. Just for funsies. And then I go around. And then I go up. And then I go down. And then I go X. Close the door, close the door, close the door, close it faster, close it faster, close it faster. Did that work? Oh my god, it fucking worked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Clementine, thanks for nothing. Did that work? Can I talk to this guy? I should talk to this guy. Well, I can. Ah ha 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 ha! Well, what you did? Ha ha! That was funny! <laughs> what do you think? That's the what do you think robot. Was that funny? Dude, that was so funny. That was so fun funny, I only died 18 times. <laughs> Thanks for holding the door. Clementine. Good fucking lord. Okay, is, did I beat the game? Please tell me that was, I just won. Okay, we won. <laughs> oh my god. Did we win, chat? Do we talk to her? I'm kind of mad at her. I don't really want to talk to Clementine. Stay alert. We are Fuck you, Clementine. No. We aren't in the clear yet. I swear to god. I swear to god. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Can I leave you? No. Bitch. What the fuck is this? Oh. Is this where we leave her behind? <laughs> uh oh. Storyline. Cut screen. There better not be Zerks there. Come in time. This door, it's the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from that control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room though. Let's look around. Okay, as long as there's no enemies, I can do this. Give me a puzzle, let's play Tetris, but I don't want to fight anyone. You hear me? That's where we came from. Hmm. the fuck is that? Is that Zerk skin? 
Looks like a human peely. Okay, we're doing a perimeter sweep, everyone. Human personnel only. We will not obey. Okay, we're going in the truck. Give me my license. I'm ready to drive. Clementine, we're in luck. They left the keys in the door. <laughs> Hop on the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. I'll take off Menchie since she, she quit. Menchie quit. <laughs> this part is going to be wild. What do you mean, Anna Louise? No, I don't want any more wild. <laughs> I just want peace and calm. <laughs> What's happening? I don't want wild. I don't want cats gone wild. I want cats gone calm. I want cats gone to sleep. Cats gone to nap. Just wonderful nappy nap time. That's all I want for my cats. Look at Tyler. He's tired, okay? He needs a break. <laughs> He's done all the work for these fucking lazy robots. <laughs> Let's pull this lever. There we go. Fuck! What the fuck? Let me... Where do I go? No! Run faster, cat! Run fucking faster! Why isn't she picking me up? Why are you leaving me? Oh, oh this is wild! Oh my god, we got on the back of a moving vehicle! Ah! It's a high speed chase with a cat! <laughs> Yo, this is better than an action movie. <laughs> Clementine, there's no way we'll make it to the Sentinels with a... Blah, blah, blah. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says, we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Subway key. Go now. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. Go, go, go. They're coming. She just sacrificed herself for us. Xyler, go. Xyler, go. You heard her. You gotta go. Fuck, fuck. How do I get back? This way. Wee. Okay, we got the subway key. Oh, I remember this. We were on the subway. How do I use the key? The fuck? There's nowhere to use the key. <laughs> how do you drive a subway? I mean, why would I know how to drive a subway? I, d I don't know how to drive a subway. <laughs> I expect the key would be at the front, but maybe not. Put the battery in. Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh, Nico Corporation. The subway has been turned on. The lights are green. Green means go. Do you have your keys? Yes. Take me for a ride. Let's fucking go. <gasps> Ooh, green lights. I like the pathway. I like to follow the pathway. Oh my god. Fucking go. Use the subway. Okay, who wants to go for a ride? This is this is fun, right? There's nothing scary. <laughs> We're going on a cat's evasion. That's right, polyanarchy. We are doing cat's evasion. It's legal. Cat's evasion is legal. Let me just clarify. All aboard! Let's fucking go! Control room. You can relax now? <laughs> Next stop, Magic Kingdom. We're going to Epcot Center where we're gonna learn about humans and how inferior they are from cats. Enjoy the world. Does it just say, yeah, enjoy the world's safest city. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Uh, which side? Which side? Which side? <laughs> Helper 477. Hello, how may I help you? My intuition is to go the exact opposite way that the game wants you to go. <laughs> if you have not noticed yet. <laughs> Cause I'm just like, what? Wait, let's go up the escalator. Whoa. Oh, oh my god, everything is so clean. This is not Toronto. What? <laughs> Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. Walled City. What the fuck? Walled City 99. Cool. Very cool. <gasps> Is that paint we can spill? Oh my god, it's tradition. Oh my god, it's paint we can walk in. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. No, the floor is white. You won't see my paint. Will you see it on here? No. <laughs> I'm so sad. I wanted to walk in the paint. Okay. so clean and I can't even make a mess Whee. Wow City sealed Violating the rules of confinement will result in a heavy prison sentence Greetings inhabitant of Wall City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. In my mind, I was hearing that in the shopper's drug mart voice that comes on over the intercom where it goes, customer service, call 101 please. Customer service, call 101. Only people in Canada who have been in a shopper's drug mart understand. Okay, so these things I can pull. It's a puzzle. But where do I pull them? Look at these fucking vending machines. There's no trash anywhere. That's wild. 
All right, there's the control room. Let's inspect. The control room is closed by some sort of... Yeah, yeah, we get it. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe we work together, we can open it. Yes, that's what we'll do. Someone said look out the window. Okay, we can find the window. Where is the window? Where is the window? Is that a window? Hello, my current task is clean the window. Please refer to any certified engineer, blah, blah, blah. Is it? It's all blurry. Oh, it's the city! Oh my god, so we were once down there looking up at this. How do we not notice that there was this like giant fucking Westworld like tower? This looks like a really nice airport. You know, like the fancy part of the airport? Well, they have fancier chairs where you can actually plug in your laptop where there's actually plugs available to plug in your laptop, which is like nowhere. Okay, so we can drag those thingies. Can I push these guys? It's the Delta Sky Lounge. <laughs> Premier service in the airlines. Christine, are you okay? No. Why would you think I'm okay? <laughs> are any of you okay? That's a better question. Are you okay? Are you okay, chat? Hello, the city has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to blah, 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 blah. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay, we already talked to you. Um... you're doing well Lou thank you for joining okay obviously these little scanner things do something maybe hmm oh there's a pad okay we probably want to put it there that's my guess yes because then there's a Y come here printer scanner It's not active. Fuck. What else do I ought to do? What else do I ought to do? Activate the other side first? Okay. Where's my, like, X? Did it just glitch out? I can't grab it again. Where's the grab button? Fuck. <laughs> no! The like, the pull, the X isn't coming up. I swear to God. Is there another? Um, good question. I don't think so. Was there another down here? Anyone see any printer scanners? I don't see any other. You don't need it? Okay, just go use B12? Okay. Alright, little buddy. What would I do without chat? It would take me like seven times as long to finish this game without chat. <laughs> okay, now can we go up here? No. It doesn't let me press Y. Chat? Was I supposed to run faster? Oh, maybe I'm just slow. <laughs> maybe 
maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not chat. Maybe it's me. <laughs> maybe it's not chat. Maybe it's just you suck at gaming. Oh, I gotta bring this with me? Fuck. How am I gonna do that in time? It won't let me move it? I can't move it? That's not helpful. What? Oh, okay. Oh, there was no puzzle. There was no trick. There was literally just go to the door. <laughs> This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. Let's have a party. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move, little good it did them. The plague. I remember now. COVID happened in March 2020. <laughs> Everyone was dying, and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside, together. Why do I feel like this is too optimistic? Like, we're probably not... Like, B12 isn't gonna survive or something. Because <laughs> this game would do this to you. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Oh my god, is that a pink fridge? Well, we just reached 100%. I remember everything now. I feel amazing. That's like me when I do well on a test. I remember everything now. <laughs> I feel amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here, a little present for you. Is that a hollow jacket? Oh my god, I got a hollow backpack! Oh my god, I am so fucking cool. All your cats get fucked. I am the coolest cat right now. Xyler in hollow. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, look at how cool I am. I am so cool. Mm, mm, mm. We got a hollow backpack. We got a hollow backpack. We are such a cool cat. Mm. Okay. Sorry, what was I doing? Not to rub it in all of your uncool cat's faces, but my cat is the coolest cat because <laughs> it's a hollow cat in a hollow backpack. Don't even remember what I'm doing because I don't need to. B12 will just remember everything for me. <laughs> don't mind me spilling the tea. <laughs> There's like an eyelash in my eye. That's why I keep blinking. Is that coffee? Boo. Look out the window? Okay. Whoa. We did all those levels, chat. Can you believe it? I can't. Okay, I don't even remember what I was supposed to do. I got so distracted. <gasps> Should we say hi to the security camera? It didn't wave. That's weird. Are those my records? Those are my legal documents for when I sue the game developers for emotional distress. Wow, wow. It's like NASA. <laughs> Sorry, I got an eyelash in my eye. <laughs> Hold on, give me a minute. 
Thank you for the super chat. Hi, Chris. I love your outfit and cat ears. Thanks. It's it's Canada. And it's cat ears. It's really stylish. <laughs> I'll be right back. I didn't run an ad. Susan! Susan, forgive me! Susan! <laughs> I promised Susan that when I peed, there would be ads. Ads for pee. No. Imagine I could program it just so it was ads about, like, drinking. Like, that was my criteria. It has to include tea. Uh, water, hydration, beverages, not definitely not handbags. We, no, I did not ask for handbag ads. I asked only for water or drinking, sparkling water, sparkling water ads. <laughs> because it's supposed to remind you that you should take a pee break, a tea break, a water break. Okay, where are we? This is the main computer. This is the main computer. We're all on it right now, playing this game. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. Bring yourself back online. Does anyone watch Westworld? I'm sorry, I, I know I keep referring to that show, but there's like so much. Bring yourself back online, chat. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. Yes, thank you, Captain Obvious B12. <laughs> While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the systems. Okay, you do that. I'll do the hard work. So, I gotta look for shit to turn the computers on. Do I play Roblox? No. I'm not a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Except I am a baby. <laughs> At gaming. I'm a gaming baby. I should play Go Fish after this. What do you guys say? My next game, I'll play Go Fish. Run on the keyboards? Okay. I can do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I want them all on? Fuck. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> at least I look cool. Turned on. Are those all on? Yes, they are. Okay, now let's do the next one. B12 is better than Clementine? Yes, agree. At least B12 is like fucking helpful. We are turning on all the computers, people. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. 
Something's off here. Oh, fuck. What now? What fucking now? <laughs> we didn't upgrade our software. <laughs> Windows is trying to restart and install Windows 12, and you said no like 18 times. <laughs> Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Roof control station. System is locked. There, that's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. They don't say. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines and you, destroy some stuff. Thank you. That's all you see me as, just a, a cat who destroys things? I thought I've proven myself to be so much more. I'm an intelligent feline. Do not underestimate me in my hollow jacket. Okay. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Woo. Okay, I'm supposed to destroy stuff. Hmm. I love this task assignment. I cannot lie. Sounds. Oh, there. Oh, oh. There's a Y there. this fuck it up we're gonna fuck it up okay did that work okay cool what else can I destroy be patient with myself at this part no <laughs> I'm good as long as there's no evil trying to attack me then I'm good I just don't like being attacked, you know? Oh, there's a Y. Flip. Flip. Oh, there we go. Let's go. We're gonna blow up Jericho. <laughs> Everyone dies. You get a death. You get a death. We all get to die. Woo! commenced Woo. The, the the system is taking more than I expected uh oh intrusion alert uh oh is it time to die uh oh the game's over <laughs> oh no we've got to keep going okay yeah That's, I was trying to do that Alright, what else can I destroy? What else can I destroy? I am just a cat looking for shit to fuck up. And I love it so much. Ooh, here's some more. Boop! <laughs> I got spooked! I got spooked, my gooped. No, go back? Oh. Okay, okay, I'll go back. What did I miss? Go back. This one? Oh, because I didn't hack that one. Blah, 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 blah. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up the workstation. What? Did B12 just... What? Did he just overheat? What am I supposed to do? What do I do? No! They see me, those fuckers. How do I, like, get rid of the security camera? Why can't I get rid of it? What do I do? What do I do? Hack the last one? not happy I think this little body is done for it's okay I'll be all right just carry me to the workstation we can disable that alarm okay we're gonna carry you buddy we're gonna put you in our mouth like a little mousy 
And we'll go to the workstation. Is this, do they mean this workstation? I don't fucking know which workstation. Why, why can't I jump up? Is this the workstation? Fuck. What's the workstation? <laughs> Where am I working? Which workstation? Oh. You mean like, like just any of these? In front of the window. In front of the window. Oh shit, I'm a dumbass. This one. Yeah. Do I drop him here? That's it, we're safe? Is that it? It's probably not. <laughs> Listen, I have something to tell you. Your life is a lie or something. This was all a dream. <laughs> I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense. More than this dro drone body could handle. But with the security system now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. Yo, this was like, this is sad, but I predicted this. I was like, there's no way they're gonna let us both live in happiness and peace. This game chose violence in the first five minutes of this game. So you know that there's no way you're gonna get all the good outcomes and you're gonna have happiness and world peace with robots, your robot buddy, and your cat. I feel like I mentally prepared myself to experience the worst, including Xyler, <laughs> like not making it. So this to me, while still incredibly sad, it wasn't as bad as I catastrophized in my mind. And that, my friends, is the benefit of catastrophizing. I'm just kidding. Don't do that to yourself. It's a horrible way to live. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> RIP B12, we love you. We love you. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past, but I'm going to give it to you. Oh. But I see a future in the companions and you. Us. You see? Here, let me take that off you. What? No, don't take my backpack. Don't take my backpack! <laughs> no, my whole backpack! You were my friend, the very best friend I could have asked for. Well, when you put it that way, now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying, I'm laughing. Menchi, Xyler, thank you. No, <laughs> he fell just like we did early on. Oh! <laughs> no! That's so mean! Tyler's like, no, my buddy! My little buddy! He's so sad! Door opening, please wait. Can we just take... Like, can we just... Why don't we just take him in the backpack and maybe we could repair him on the outside? It's not fair. This doesn't have to end like a Bruce Willis movie where he always sacrifices himself to be the hero. We could have taken B12. <laughs> Why are there Zerks? Okay, they're all getting murdered. <laughs> 
checking his nails. He's checking in the hollow in the sun. Oh my god, is it sunshine? <gasps> They're opening up the walls of the city. And we'll they're all seeing the light so we can go outside the city it's like the Truman Show is this the Truman Show all along holy shit we've been playing the the true cat show doors open 24% 25% please hold Took a nap with our buddy. We're sad. Oh, we want to take another nap. I don't want to leave your side, B12. <laughs> no. Why am I crying? Look, the ceiling is opening. Look up! Hey, everyone, look up! This game is so sad. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. So this whole time, we were in like a... Almost like a turbine. Like a underground concrete city where they built a bunch of cities and there was a ceiling over us that's crazy like the inside of like a coliseum or something and now we can finally go back to our cat friends but without our little buddy i just want to take him why can't i press x to take did it work? City open. The city is open. And I am your leader. <laughs> Zyler is God. <laughs> okay, where do I go? Oh, what's this? <gasps> unlock. There's something to unlock. It says press Y, but mm, I need a tape. Can I play music from the outside? All hail Lord Zyler. You show him respect. No, I can't press the tape. It was grayed out. So I think I need a tape in order to press the tape. Yeah. Where's the tape? Give me a tape, give me a tape. Break me off a piece of that VHS. I mean, not VHS. Tape cassette. Give me a tape, give me a tape. <laughs> Wee! It's all like glowy. Oh, did we do that? Okay. Some of you are just saying, just press it. I'll try it again, but um, it was grayed out. See how it's gray? Which means, oh, oh, I have to go closer. Oh, simply, simply a dummy. <laughs> That's it? I was expecting more. <laughs> I was expecting the theme song to Westworld. Okay. All right, never mind then. Am I free? Now what? Where's my people?
Why are these robots just chilling? Like, don't they want to get out? <gasps> Look, he's praying to me because I'm God. That's right. <laughs> you bow down. To you bow down to me. I am your leader now. My name is Xyler, and I am God. <laughs> Did we make it? Is this the outside? <gasps> I hear birds. I see a bird. Where's our friends? Where's our cat friends? No, oh, Chad died. Hold on, hold on. I, I killed you. <laughs> The timing. <laughs> okay, everything's good, right? Yeah. Siler. It's a butterfly. It's a beautiful butterfly. Will we see our friends? Please reunite us with our kitty cat friends. No! End scene, cutscene, end scene, cutscene. That's it? to know I need to ask him a question actually I need to ask Xyler a question about the end of this game guys we did it we did it and I think the game just wants you to imagine being reunited with your kitty cat friends but me being such a completionist like actually wanted to experience it so a little sad that we didn't get to do just a little snuggle with our kitty cat friends. <laughs> no! Like just one more scene. This game coded like 8 million scenes. <laughs> and it was so detailed. But no reunion. Or may wait, wait, may maybe I'm speaking too soon. Maybe it's going to happen after the credits. Maybe it's going to happen after the credits. Quick, get Emily D. Baker on the phone. Emotional damage. I'm suing. I'm serving my motion. I needed to see the reunion. Otherwise, I am uh, emotionally damaged uh, by implication of this game's uh, trauma it has imposed on me. <laughs> I will be seeking damages. <laughs> Where the fuck is Stray 2? Maybe they left an open ending for the second game. Oh, so you have to like go through the second city just to find your friends. I'm gonna let the credits play because I'm I'm hopeful. Although I know some of you already played this game, so you probably know if there's something else. Look at the cats, cats, cats. We're Tog, Babu, Eric, Oscar, Tao, Bat, Lala. I heard Lala was the voice actor. You did a really good job, Lala. Xyler. Xyler, I need to ask you a question. Did you meet up with your friends at the end of the game? What's that? What's that? Yes, I did. And I am their lord. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> All right, you heard him. He said he did successfully meet up with his friends at the end of the game and that he continued on as their leader. This is the actual end. Oh, there is no end scene. That's okay. Xyler was the end scene. 
Thank God Xyla lives on as God. He just took over. He just took all the power, basically. Whew, holy, holy shit, guys. Is everyone okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It looks like we're gonna quit the game. But by quit, I mean win. We won the game, everybody. God, that was such a roller coaster. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Is everyone okay? Because, um, Woo. GG's, everybody. Holy GG's. You're sad? Don't be sad. I need to blow my nose. Yo, I cried for the robot. <laughs> the robot made me cry. But I had kind of, <clears throat> I had definitely set myself up to know that there was no way everything was gonna be happy in the ending. Because the beginning of the game was so sad. Because our cat fell down and then we, you know, landed in the, the city. Ooh, oh my god, that was exhausting, like mentally, emotionally, and <laughs> why? <laughs> I feel like I talked to Julian about this game and he said it was one of his favorite games that he's ever played and that he really liked it. But me, like my reaction <laughs> is, is more like I had so much trauma and emotional stress playing it, although I really liked it because I obviously cats A+, plus, love to play them, love to be them, love to act as them. Loved all the little cute things in the game, but it was extremely stressful for someone like me to keep seeing my cat die, you know, because I'm just like not as good at the moves. <laughs> so I think if you're an avid video game player or you're just like naturally good at games, this is like really interesting and a fun game. You probably finish it a lot quicker than I did. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Ariana. As a game designer, I really appreciate this new wave of games that takes a non-traditional approach, i.e. not just combat, but creative solutions. I like that. I do like how sometimes there, there was puzzles you had to figure out, and then sometimes you could sneak McGeek around things, but it's all personal preference. So I, I, do, I do see like in retrospect that the game had different types of enemies for people with different skill sets that kind of scratched a different itch, like a cat. Um, for different people and different skill sets or interests. So yeah, that's definitely really cool. It's, that's a good observation for sure. I know I like missed a bunch of stuff. I am never going to emotionally recover from this me neither. <laughs> oh, that's all it goes back. Whew. Oh my God, I feel like I can breathe now though. I was just generally nervous that I wasn't gonna beat like the Sentinels <laughs> or the Zerks and that everyone would be disappointed. So I'm just glad that uh, I made it through. Woo. I think for this game, there isn't any alternative endings unless you just keep dying and never make it, I suppose. But it's unlike Detroit Become Human or Dream Daddy or um, life is strange I guess uh, because there's not really like a different outcome that you can explore no one saw a different path with me they just saw a different approach and a different rate of failure I suppose and maybe you saw different memories being unlocked like the hollow jacket we got for doing such a good job <laughs> yes I'm comparing this game to dream daddy therefore you know I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about <laughs> Christine passed another game thank you silly munchkins I have finished a game, I passed, um, I don't know if I got an A, but I definitely got at least a D. <laughs> game of the year, do you think? I don't know enough about games to know like, you know, what else might be up for game of the year. You did a great job getting all the memories with your help chat. Thank you chat for helping me collect all the memories. I can't wait for a spooky Halloween game. 
We're gonna do that for sure. I know Ben has a short list of games that he suggested for me to play for the spooky month, but um, what's the date today? Let me take a look at the calendar. So spooky month won't start till October. So I have a little bit of time. Thank you, Shannon. You got 100% of the memories and all those badges. That's an A. Oh, thanks. Cool. That except for dying. <laughs> no stream next. Oh, yeah. Okay. So next Wednesday, I'm not sure if I'm streaming. If I am, I won't be starting a new game. I'll just do something short like, I don't know, Google Feud or one of those random one-off games. Because um, there's a lot of shit going on next week. So I, I don't want to start like a big game next week. I'll just... If I'm here at all next week, I will play like an in-between kind of game that's just like whatever, you know. And then on the 31st, in two Wednesdays, we will start a game. I plan on polling the, the Menchie Gang members to ask what game. So you can go ahead and leave your suggestions for what you want me to play next in the comments of this video. You could say it in the chat, but like it'll get lost in the chat. So if you put it as a comment after this video is done, when it's a VOD, leave your suggestions and then I'm gonna gather those and pick the four best suitable ones for me to play on stream. And then that will be the next game we play in September. But it, Hopefully is only a game that will take me four streams to finish because my plan is by October <laughs> The first week of October. I want to be playing a spooky game So it doesn't have to be a spooky game for the duration of September, which is like four uh, four Wednesdays of gaming But in October, I'd like to switch to a spooky game that Ben's gonna pick All right It would need to be a relatively short game. Yeah So I need a game that will take no more than four sessions of three hours max. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna run into what happened with the quarry where I like stopped playing the quarry, started playing Stray, and then had to finish the quarry, you know, an extra time. It's my, it's my bad, I know. I don't stream enough, that's my problem. But it's because I'm so busy, you know? On the outside. Just kidding, on the inside. <laughs> Firewatch. Okay, Ben, write that down. We had been playing It Takes Two. I just feel like I'm still not good enough. I mean, maybe we could try that. <laughs> we played two episodes of It Takes Two several months ago, me and Ben, on this stream. But I just suck so bad that like I, I quit. <laughs> so maybe I've gotten a little bit better. I don't know, but I don't want to frustrate him or chat by like just sucking so much. We know you're busy bringing us more hollow talk. Who told you that? Yeah. I would stream more if I could. I just literally cannot because, I mean, I could. Then we're just like, we won't have collections in eight months from now. <laughs> and I don't think you want that, right chat? I think you want more nail polish. You want a balance of new nail polish and video games. What is Ben's stream schedule? He streams on Hummus Mondays and um, Casual Fridays around 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so yeah, he'll be streaming this Friday, right? What day is it? It's Wednesday. So he'll be live Friday, I think. I don't know, I'm just saying this. <laughs> he didn't schedule it, but usually. Um, he won't be live Monday though, because we have some family stuff to do. Let Ban entertain the children while you're busy. He does, he does a good job at entertaining you guys, if you want. But yeah, he's usually live at least twice a week. Sometimes more, when he's playing games. So that's four days of Simply or Ben, and then you have Taco Tuesday, which there isn't an episode next Tuesday. <laughs> I know, I already told you that. We just have a lot of uh, like family and other stuff going on next week.
but yes, he is streaming this Friday, I think. I think that's safe to say. All right. I think I'm gonna go try and emotionally recover. <laughs> I'm just so relieved. Like that was such a good game. It was beautiful. The graphics and the storyline and the detail were so good. Um, but it messed me up. It did mess me up. Like the quarry did nothing to me. Don't care. People got their heads sawed off and died in a lake. Don't care. But on the other hand, you make me as a cat figure out how to like not die 18 times. I am damaged. I am traumatized. So that's me. <laughs> Detroit become cat was the mission. And I think we su succeeded at becoming a cat. And now we need to decompress and become a sock. Let's get some socks in the chat. can't even where's my sock how do I get my own emoji there <laughs> I am a sock I am a sock I don't have a hoodie on <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for sticking through with me all the way to the end five weeks later we finish a game called stray i'm always finishing everything late but it was so much fun and i i really liked it i'm glad that i finished it and despite all the emotional challenges i'm glad that that you know we made it we did it we did it chat five long wonderful weeks meow all the cats are happy And if there's ever any other games about cats, especially calming ones, please let me know. You're not finishing late, you're just thorough. Yeah, there's some games where I did not really seem to care about like completing everything, like in the quarry or Dream Daddy. I didn't do all of the dates. I definitely didn't do all the dates in Dream Daddy. I don't know, maybe it just didn't like appeal to me as much because the graphics weren't as into it or I didn't feel like it was as necessary for me to get everything but as the cat I needed it all <laughs> if you put me in the body of the cat I will explore every nook and granny cat cafe manager Ooh, what's that goat simulator hmm I liked the unboxing game I loved the unboxing game uh unpacking it was only like three or four at the most episodes that was a really good game of for nostalgia and calmness and organization if there's another game like unpacking leave that as a as a suggestion in the comments after the stream ends yeah no quarry <laughs> yeah, whatever <laughs> thank you mary this was fantastic tonight i'm glad it was also fantastic for xyler yeah see some of chat really liked unpacking i loved unpacking i want something else like that very chill i need it i deserve it i need it it's like a vacation from your stressful game we need a vacation game that is <laughs> less stressful it's a building full of cats a short game which one the cat cafe Okay, I'll look into that. I'll look into the other cat ones. Lawnmower? Mm, I have seen people suggest like the detective games, but I don't know if those are too long to, to do next because it can't be that long of a game we do next before it turns into spooky season you know okay all right thank you guys for your suggestions i will let you go because i'm gonna go hug my kitties and eat dinner and um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and seeing it through all the way to the end of stray we did it we did it chat my petit chat my chat and i hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week week and you will see Ben on Friday, I suppose. Oh, and Saturday, I think we're doing a Bake Logical. 
baking baking do you, anyone want baking we could do baking on saturday all right everybody ggs thanks so much for watching and i'll see y'all later meow